The first day of the week and 104 members of the Burundi National Assembly packed into this hall. The ruling National Party occupying the lion's share of the seats following last month's poll which the opposition boycotted. Today, 17 members stayed away. Well, the big story here has been the appearance of Agathon Wasa, the leader of the National Liberation Party, FNL, at the assembly venue. Two days earlier, he was the face of defiance. Following the former rebel leader's boycott of the presidential poll, it's almost been impossible to predict what his next move will be. Before the poll, during the poll, failed negotiation, of course, outright condemnation of the electoral process, and the results, even though he secured 20% of votes in a ballot that he boycotted. So his presence at the parliament today, does it not weaken his already defiant stand, of course, weaken the opposition that he stood for all this while? Good to come to the parliament because we have got the trust of the people. We are representing the people here. So they want their voice to be heard in this, in this house. I'm not letting down anybody. And perhaps this is a judgment which comes from just emotional feelings. Let them take some few times, some few days. They will come to a conclusion that they are not betrayed. You, Prona, the factionalized coalition opposition group working together with the FNL has been quiet. Together, the leaders of both groups talked to their guns on the sticky issues prior to the poll. The aftermath of the FNL's U-10 has been met with spectacular silence. There are several actors in the Burundian political drama. The government, the opposition, and of course, the people. The government will view what is going on in the ranks of the opposition it's a huge self-relief knowing that if they can come together, sit in parliament, perhaps some breakthrough in talks at the national level. Wait to see how that happens. But it still means some hope for the government. But for the people, they'll fold their hands and realize that it means they could get back to living life as usual and perhaps business in a country where unemployment rates are extremely high and the cost of living seems to be skyrocketing. From the heart of the Burundian capital, Bujumbura, our Obo. STV News.